With modern motorcycle helmets, you can have a headset with a microphone, speakers, and everything built in and communicate with people a lot safer than it used to be. It used to be you'd be wave like, okay, we're getting off on this exit, and you're like twisting around backwards. Come on, guys, let's do this. Nowadays, you can do it with just your helmet, and it works through Bluetooth. But these also connect to your phone, which begs the question, if you're going to have your phone on you and have it out where you can get to it and manipulate it if you need to, heaven forbid, you know, a lot of it you can just touch on your helmet and go forward, backward on songs, hang up, and uh, answer calls with this middle button. Uh, but you got to mount the phone to where you can at least glance down at it, look at it, just like you would look at your speedometer, which you're supposed to be doing anyway. Given that you can do all that cool stuff and it's safer to do it through your helmet than otherwise, uh, you want to have your phone mounted onto your motorcycle so that it is easy to reach, easy to get to, just like your trip odometer, just like your speedometer uh, that you're looking at anyway. In order to do that in a safe way that it doesn't fall out and go down the highway, I came up with this system. Um, the only thing that I did that makes it different than the factory is I took some foam rubber tape and put it in the bottom and that just seemed to dampen things because these will move independent from the rest of it. Uh, but if you have this it keeps your phone from like going sideways a little bit. That was the only thing I didn't like about this mount and that just totally totally fixed it. A really great setup. I love it. Ryan's Mobile One so this is what it's like putting the phone in, quick and easy, uh, you can pull it out. And again with my helmet, I can have this connected via Bluetooth to my Cena that's on my helmet and then I don't even have to pull this off of my side, but it is nice to have it like this. Um, another nice thing is that you can just pop it up. I want to use my left hand because that's the way it's set up. So if you decide, I don't like doing it sideways like this. I mean, generally that's the way I do it. It fills the space better. It doesn't block this to where you have good view. And bear in mind, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can tilt it down here even further. Make it your own. But if you don't like that, with the ram mount, it's really, really simple to just do it this way. You can, you know... Turn it any way you want. You can have it face this way, this way. I mean, you can rotate it around 360 degrees all day long, and it doesn't hurt a thing. But the speedometer that I use is the digital one in the middle. I don't really use the one on the side, so that's why I do it the way I do it. Lots of ways to do things. You can do it however you want to. Uh, just bear in mind that there's reasons why I do it the way that I do it and it comes from experience and testing. I like mine right like that. So this is the setup that I have. It doesn't tip too far. If I hit it, it doesn't move this way, it doesn't move that way a great deal. You have to have a little bit of play and that's so that you can get your phone in and out. Uh, when I go to set the ram mount, uh, what I did is I tapped a couple of holes, I drilled holes and tapped a mount onto the triple crown is what it's called on a motorcycle. Uh, but I trimmed a little bit from each side so it fit between the ignition and the cap there. And as you can see, everything goes together like this. It's pretty quick and easy. And it's pretty easy to change to. Uh, but what I want to do is I want it as close to me as possible and kind of far over this way. Reason being is you've got all of these buttons on the sides of your phone. You want to make sure that all of those buttons aren't blocked by this so that you have access. This new phone, this S9 Plus, it has a button for Bixby. It's a personal assistant kind of thing. I'm sure that it has benefit and kudos to the team uh, that put it together, but I don't like it, so I don't want that to be popping up all the time. You ever watch those cartoons where you've got like a wannabe sidekick or something that keeps popping up all the time? Uh, you know, like on the movie Incredibles, uh, that one dude that wants to be there all the time. It's kind of like that. So anyway, I've got all of this space here. This is the way I mount it. So then I'll loosen this and I'll pull it as close. Make sure it's got free range of motion. Pull it all the way toward me. I want it kind of centered and I don't want it. You don't want to mount it on your motorcycle like this. There are benefits to doing this, but then the sun hits it directly and it can cause your screen to black. Anyway, you want indirect sunlight on your screen. Another thing is just the glare. Another reason why I did it this way is I like to have a battery and a cable that comes to this side. I've got Velcro already in place down on the side of the tank there. My throttle hand's this hand, so my left hand, my thumb's going to be down ergonomically. So that's why I have the power button at the bottom. So I can hit that like that even with a gloved hand. Voila! That's how I mount my phone on my motorcycle. Uh, if you want the RAM mount or this case or a kit with a phone that has uh, the wireless Bluetooth 
uh, earbuds or the Cena setup like I have, I'll leave a link in the description below. These are all things that I've tested, I approve of, I love them. I buy stuff and risk it so you don't have to. Here's how the mount was mounted. Well, this is the ignition area where my keys would hang. I've ground this down. I use caliper paint on it so it looks good again. It's all covered up in gasket maker as well. Line up the holes. And it didn't come with holes. I actually made those using a tap and die set and some drill bits. There it is. So what I did is I used a 4.3 millimeter drill bit and I drilled the holes and I marked the holes by putting this in and using a punch and then I dipped these uh, threads of these M5 by 0.8 screws in some blue Loctite. Basically I just don't like rattles and I don't want to ever worry about this falling off while I'm riding. I just about pick the whole bike up by that now. Not really, but it's very solid. I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was. I love these things. I used this on my paramotor for the longest time until I made that uh, leg strap. On the paramotor it was a bad deal because there's so much vibration because that two-stroke motor on it that I had a lot of issues. nice thing with this is that you can put it on whatever you want. had it on the Subaru for a little bit and then I switched to the Skosh mounts, the magnetic mounts, the little metal plate that goes in the back of your phone. The nice thing about these RAM mounts is that they screw down they're solid and they've got these soft squishy rubber arms that taper up this way when you put your phone in there you can just forget about it. like I said I use my flying it actually was great uh, the downside to these is that they do move a little bit and that's inherent with the way that it clamps down it doesn't move at all like this but once you're here there's a slot that it can move by and then that can cause all kinds of issues like say you got a vibration or something when I'm flying it would go crooked or sideways I'm not real crazy about that but this is the right mount for the job on the bike so that's why I'm moving it I've actually just laid the thing as far diagonal and crooked as I can so that it still has room for the knob to tighten it that takes it to there that gives you easier access to the keys it's probably a safer better way to do it so I've let this dry overnight and surprisingly enough I, of course off camera I pull at it and pick out a little bit but where the adhesive is it is really really stuck I think parchment paper or something with silicone on it would be better so perhaps the thing to do is just trim the excess it just gives the glue a nice uh, glossy surface maybe it's not that bad of a deal somebody's gonna ask about this particular thing these are awesome I got a two pack of them they're, they're expensive they're like 300 bucks uh, but you can get them cheaper on Amazon now. I'll leave a link in the description. It's the SMH-10R and I also use it when I go flying and that way I can take calls and do all that kind of stuff when I'm flying. Speaking of which, when you're flying you've already got your hands up here at your paramotors as you saw earlier. Uh, but your hands already here so to just go beep to answer or hang up is easy or do volume control. You never have to take your hands off the controls uh, in order to run the controls on the helmet. They're awesome. Like I say, I'll leave a link in the description. I do get a kickback if you buy the Amazon stuff, and that helps a lot. Thank you very much. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Everybody wins. <laughs> it's awesome. This is something that I use all the time, and I totally recommend it. I mean, you can do your music. You can do all kinds of stuff. So you don't have to worry about an iPod or any of that other kind of stuff. It's all on your phone. You leave your phone on your hip. Mine rides just on my hip right here. Uh, but I like having it to where you can look at it you know and you can use it for navigation on your motorcycle too. Google Maps there's all kinds of good things and the nice thing is is if you have your voice alerts you don't have to look down at it it says turn right and 400 feet right into your helmet and you don't even have to look at it don't have to do anything it's just straight to your helmet it's a really great setup I love it bonus footage at the end